Here we're going to talk about vibrational spectroscopy, one of the three spectroscopies in which the electric field of the electromagnetic radiation interacts with molecules. In this case, the electric field will induce transitions between vibrational energy levels. What we're going to do is to assume a first a harmonic oscillator, and remember we know the quantum mechanics of that. Let's look at a diatomic molecule. We model the bond as a spring, a Hooke's Law spring, and the uh, two atoms on this diatomic molecule can vibrate back and forth. We looked at the quantum mechanics of this and we saw that the energy levels are equal to n plus one-half h bar omega, where omega was equal to the square root of k over mu, where that was the reduced mass, and k is the spring constant. So we know how to treat this, at least for a diatomic molecule, how to treat this vibration quantum mechanically. Well, we're now going to do spectroscopy. Recall that the energy levels here were, uh, and n, remember, can go from 0, 1, and so on. So for the n equal 1 energy, uh, 0 energy level, n equal 1, n equal 2, and so on, we got a series of equally spaced energy levels whose difference was h bar omega. And what we're going to do in vibrational spectroscopy is take molecules from the uh, low energy and put them in the high energy state. And we'll find later on that the transition uh, the selection rules for these transitions are plus or minus one on a change. So that's what we know already from our study of quantum mechanics. If you go back here, unfortunately we have another change in uh, notation like we did for rotational spectroscopy. The quantum number when you talk about vibrational spectroscopy is given the symbol nu. Now that's in unfortunate, but let's go ahead and do this. So. Here we're going to change notation for vibrational spectroscopy. E is equal to nu plus one half h bar omega. Now this selection of nu is unfortunate because we're going to use nu in another sense here. Here it's a, a, a um, vibrational quantum number, but here remember h bar is h nu or h bar times omega is equal to h nu. So here we have the Greek letter nu being used in two different senses for and frequency of electromagnetic radiation. But that's the way people have done it, so we'll go ahead and do that. So um, when we introduce spectroscopies, we said that these transitions correspond to electromagnetic, electromagnetic radiation in the infrared region. So oftentimes vibrational spectroscopy, actually most of the time, vibrational spectroscopy is referred to as infrared spectroscopy or IR for short, infrared spectroscopy. All right, so that's a brief introduction. We're just going to take what we learned in quantum mechanics with this change in notation and apply it to vibrational spectroscopy.